Hi, everybody. Today, we pay tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. We reflect on the lessons of his life. That extraordinary change begins when ordinary men and women are willing to stand up for the progress they seek. We draw strength from his unbending commitment to justice and his unwavering conviction in the moral force of nonviolence. And just as we celebrate the progress he helped inspire, we recommit ourselves to our unfinished work, defending the dignity and equality of all people. That's why today we come together in a national day of service. Because as Dr. King once said, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Today, Americans across our country are answering that question through their actions. They're cleaning up parks, visiting hospitals, working at food banks, and reading to children. They're doing their part to honor Dr. King by heeding his call to serve. To everyone out there volunteering today, thank you. And to everyone who wants to join in, it's not too late. Just go to www.mlkday.gov to find a project happening right now near you. Dr. King is an inspiration to millions around the world, including me. We feel his legacy all around us, in our schools, our communities, our halls of government, and most importantly, in our hearts, how we treat each other, in the simple acts of kindness and respect that bind us together as one American family. That was Dr. King's dream, that one day all Americans would treat each other as brothers and sisters. Let's all do our part to make that dream real, not just today, but every day.